They're all over, I know. There we go. Oh, a flounder. On a rattle trap. Yeah. Alright guys, well it's it's definitely bright enough now that I can probably start narrating. I came to the same spot that I was at yesterday. This time my dad came along with me. In the beginning he started cast netting some mullet and um, I was just throwing a jig around. I actually ended up catching a flounder on a rattle trap, believe it or not. It was actually a pretty good sized flounder, I didn't measure it, I wasn't planning on keeping them. I don't even think they're in season right now. But the mullet, is, it's just, they're just going crazy again like they were yesterday. The mullet run is just in full swing right now. And right now it doesn't really seem like there's any bigger fish underneath of them. And if there are, they're not really willing to eat anything else other than mullet. But we do have some mullet rigs today. So I might tie one of them on and give that a shot and see if I can get a blue fish or something on a mullet rig. That's basically just the game plan for today, so. We'll see how it works out. All right, so we put the jig back on and just a tail of a mullet. There we go. That's definitely a blue fish. Oh, dropped it. That thing jumped There was something jumping out there. It was big. Where? Out. There we go. That's a good blue fish. <laughs> he hit hard. There we go. Oh yeah, they have fight really hard. Well, what time is it now? It's still... You wanna go there now? I, we can try. I'll go there. It's just like you said, it's like a mile walk from where you are. 8 o'clock, 8.30, so the tide's coming up now, so now would be the time to go. You know what I mean? Like, it would be the time, that, now would be the time to do it. Alright guys, we just made it to a new spot, our second spot of the day. We're gonna be working the beach and we're gonna walk our way down to a main jetty and we're gonna be fishing SP minnows and different lures to see what we can get. So we'll see how this works. All right, so we made it to the jetty of this inlet. Obviously the rougher side where the wind's pushing into it is on that side and we're gonna start on this side and see what we can do. We'll probably have to switch over to that side but we're just gonna work this side for a little bit first. Current strong. Oh. All 
All right, well, there's the first fish here on the little SP minnow. Gonna let him back, he's bleeding a little bit. He swam off just fine. That little blue fish just came on this purple and silver SP minnow. It's the smaller size one. I was just casting it out into the middle and just retrieving it nice and slow. Bunch of mullet, like right in here. Is that that right there? I think so, yeah. Alright guys, so I'm taking the trek into the water to try and catch some fish. There's a bunch of mullet in the water right here. I'm not trying to go in too deep, I just wanted to be able to cast out here a little bit. See if I can get something to bite. There's a fish. Dad! Oh! <laughs> oh my god, I just had a nice fish. He was taking dragon everything. I don't know what that was, it had to be a blue fish. All I'm doing is just casting behind these waves and fishing the white water along this jetty. There's a ton of mullet right here. I'm trying not to get my GoPro ruined. That guy just caught a nice blue fish up on the jetty. My dad's on the rock over there trying to catch the same fish. going in the water was a nice blue fish but he ended up getting off I couldn't hold him on um, I'm gonna start the walk back now it's gonna be a little bit colder now that my pants are all wet but that's right it was worth it all right guys so I'm back home now just editing this video um, unfortunately I didn't make an actual outro of this video while I was filming it so I'm doing that now um, just a quick recap on the day I ended up catching a flounder on a rattle trap which was pretty cool Never done that before. Um, it's, it's not flounder season anymore, so I didn't keep him, and I don't think he would have measured even if it was. And I probably wouldn't have kept him either way. Um, I ended up catching a couple bluefish after that, and then that was pretty much like that was pretty much the whole day. Uh, I ended up losing one good fish. I didn't really know what it was. It could have been a small striper. Uh, it could have been a better sized bluefish, but I I just he couldn't stay hooked, and I ended up losing him. Um, but all in all, it was a good day. I will be going back down the shore this weekend, and I definitely plan on going back to the same spot. Uh, the conditions should be a little bit more striper weather. Um, I still don't think they're going to be there yet, but there could be some schoolies coming through, and that will be fun to catch. Um, if not, I definitely expect to catch more bluefish while I'm there, and so you could definitely expect a couple more videos out of this weekend. If you did enjoy this video, definitely make sure you hit that thumbs up button. It means a lot. It helps out the video. Um, drop a comment down below if you have any ideas of other fish I can catch in the salt water um, this time of year. Obviously bluefish and striper are the main fish this time of year and they're really fun to catch. If you like this kind of stuff, definitely hit that subscribe button too. Um, that as well helps out the channel and helps me out. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one.